ladies and gentlemen. You know, for many weeks now, I've been talking about the supply chain shortage in America. And I spoke about the port of Los Angeles. And today you're going to hear about the port of Houston, which is really not quite as bad as the port of Los Angeles. But many people are very upset and squarely blaming Joe Biden for this. But actually, it's a combination of things with the pandemic and worker shortages and a lot of things are necessary in order to get these containers moving. And America just don't have the labor in place to do this. So these containers seem to just sit here (laughs) until oblivion at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this audio from NPR, waiting on that holiday gift from your online cart, it might be stuck at a seaport. November 5th, 2021. Okay, let me cancel. To Houston now, where the supply chain bottleneck at ports in the U.S. is going to get worse before it gets better, especially with Black Friday and the holiday shopping season approaching. Now, this logistics backup is because of COVID-related factory shutdowns in Asia, coupled with lots of consumer spending here at home. NPR's John Burnett visited the port of Houston, where cargo is stacked up everywhere. When you click Add to Cart and expect those personalized decorative pumpkins to be delivered to your front door by tomorrow, you may not appreciate just how they arrive to American shores. It's complicated. There's a reason why global logistics management is now a college major. That's the sound of your adorable pumpkins arriving. Well, figuratively speaking. This container is one of thousands plucked off a huge black hole cargo ship nearly as long as three football fields. It called at the port of Houston last week on its way from the Bahamas to Malta. The container is dropped onto a waiting truck, which disappears into a canyon of steel boxes stacked as tall as a five-story building. Reality check. The main reason for the supply chain logjam is us. When everybody was staying home and they were getting stimulus checks, they started buying since they weren't going on vacation and going to restaurants and buying services, they started buying uh, furniture and bicycles and home improvement goods. Roger Gunther is executive director of the Port of Houston, the nation's sixth largest container port and number one in total waterborne tonnage. What you're seeing at our port and you know a lot of ports across the nation is this surge in import is really putting a strain on the supply chain. It's filling up our terminals, filling up all of our extra space. The container terminals are becoming the warehouse for all these goods. The bottleneck is bad on both sides of the international supply chain. In Asia, manufacturers shut down for weeks as the Delta variant raced around the world earlier this year. For instance, orders for Nike sneakers will be months late because of lockdowns at footwear factories in Vietnam. Over here, congestion at the Port of Houston is exacerbated by a shortage of truck drivers and trucks to haul containers when there are not enough trucks to deliver the steel boxes to, say, the Walmart distribution center in a timely manner. They pile up at the port storage yard, and then there's no room for arriving ships to unload their containers. We've had as many as five to ten ships sitting outside waiting for a berth. It's not as bad as the Port of Los Angeles. Last week, there were nearly 100 ships parked in San Pedro Bay waiting for dockside space. This is Christina. How can I help you? For the freighters at anchor in the Gulf of Mexico, off of Galveston Island, it's welcome news when a dispatcher from the Houston Pilots Association sends a captain to guide the vessel into the Houston ship channel. All righty, Ruben, I got your uh, sole creativity with a draft of 8.5. That is confirmed. Send me out of ITC 7, starboard side going out to sea. That is for today at 1600. ISS began up this deal. Jorge will be the point of contact. The backup at the port is rippling throughout the vast logistics community on Houston's gritty industrial east side. Here at Canal Cartage Company, forklifts dart back and forth, loading pallets of T-shirts into tractor trailers, waiting to deliver them across the country. 
This warehousing and short haul trucking company is working frantically to keep up. Chief Operating Officer Randall Morris offers me the Cub Scout tour of his work site. That is a container. They're basically like Legos. They sit on top of each other on the ship and they lock them down, okay? When we go over to the port, they pick that thing up and put it on our chassis. A chassis is basically a piece of steel with wheels. There's currently a worldwide shortage of chassis, which you have to have if you want to move containers on land. That's yet another glitch in the supply chain slowdown. We probably have about 250 on order that have been on order for the last year, and they just they can't produce them fast enough. So let's review. The overseas factory has to produce, the container ship has to transport, the port has to receive, the truck has to deliver, the warehouse has to store, and the retailer has to get it to the customer. So this is just, this is like an orchestra. It's all finely tuned, and everybody's got to play when their part comes up in the symphony. Correct. And if one piece falls off, like let's say the maestro increases the tempo and no one's ready for it, it all falls apart. And that's essentially Okay, so you can see it, it is just the same all over. There is a port in, this is Port of Houston, and there is a port in Savannah. <laughs> and the bottom line is these cargo ships are just sitting there. Nothing is moving. So you can best believe, you know, there's a lot of yammering right now about the big shopping season, and it's just not going to be like it was a year ago or even in 2019 or 2018. It is going to be vastly different. People better be prepared for the entire season all the way until 2022 of you not finding the products and goods and food that you normally would have found any other time it is just not going to happen and i really believe they're coming out with a lot of these stories just to prepare people for what's to come this is not going to end anytime soon so they're already saying things are backed up and as you heard there's like over a hundred ships waiting to dock at the port of Los Angeles. That is like crazy. That's absolutely crazy. But y'all, please tell me what you think. And look, this supply chain shortage is worldwide. It's not just here. So it is bad all over, no matter where you are on this earth. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.